On a hillside, fairly remote, is the Anacona House, which has marvelous views of the volcanoes and the ocean. We have uh, right here on our left, this is the transportation department. Coming down here, I'm going to uh, rush through this a bit, but just to give you an idea of the layout of the land and how the feelings are here. This is the piano room, music room, which I spend days in practicing rock modern off and whatnot, and our quarters are down there. And coming back this way, we have in this room, kind of a prep kitchen here, and this is definitely the dining room. And over here, this is the office area. This is the living room. Wonderful space for entertaining and enjoyment. Swinging around this way, we have the kitchen in there too. Uh, down this way is the guest quarters. Very remote, I must say. You are far away from the main, I guess you'd call it the master and commander room. Here's the bathroom. Very modern, very concrete. Board form concrete, a little different than most places, but it's the shower. It'll do the business. Here is the guest quarters. Room with a view, no question about that. Uh -huh. And there is the ocean out there. It's a little overcast in this afternoon, but the ocean is out there. Well, you can see it now. Ocean with a sunset happening. And that is Walleye, that volcano that in the middle there. Uh, you cannot see, because of the clouds moving across, Mauna Loa. And Mauna Kea is completely hidden in the clouds. But we have a, a stream down here that is quiet at the moment. When it rains up in Kohala, all of a sudden, it, the, the whole thing just goes berserk. Really interesting. We have a yoga mat for those that are interested in that kind of thing, that endeavor. Mm-hmm reflection chair and uh, the interesting thing about this house is that it's filled with barn doors barn glass and voila the whole house has those so it's very comfortable come on down